Next, next one, barn. This is the one of the most exciting minions. Of the, this is the most yeah. spoken yeah. about card. Yeah. yeah. This walkie man. This is the uh, Maligos card. Is the auctioneer card? Is the Emperor Thorson card? It's a Ragnaros Zoc, card. That, Ragnaros, it's the Ragnaros card. Tyrion. This is this this card is crazy. It's, it's specifically Nizoth Paladin. I think. Or just in control decks in general that, that yeah. pack super like relevant cards. But you have to have a lot of death battles or emperor or, or like just on the board effects. So there's Karen, there's Sylvanas, Isera. I, I think this will have obviously this will have the most impact in his Paladin because pretty yeah. much every card except for other than like Acolyte, I guess, and like mm-hmm. um, Pyromancer, the, the, the Justicar. This I'd say like two thirds of the cards in that deck the two thirds of the minions are relevant and are massively impactful for a four drop like, even when it's a four mana three or four and a one one it's not absolutely terrible no not at all and then when you get a reg like fire lord or light lord it's freaking crazy oh. you get Tyrion, you just win the game off the like it on synergizes the with Steward of Dark Shark, so whatever this thing summons has a divine shield. shield. Yeah, and it synergizes, and if you get Sylvanas or Ken, you also win the game early. Yeah. It gets crazy. And then, and then not only that, but it also gives Nizoth an extra death battle. So let's say you get Ken, and you get an extra, you get an extra character yeah, to be yeah, sticky yeah. for the board. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, this this card is really really good. Anyway, if you have Bran on the previous turn and it survives, oh my oh god, oh my god, you can get two reg abs- reg fire lords. No, like, oh. Absolutely disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah. Oh my god. But it can also whiff and give you. I don't know anything. So the thing is, when it whiffs, it's not that. It's not bad. even that bad. It's a yet. It's like a yeti split into two bodies. Yeah, which isn't which isn't amazing, but for the ch- running, it's like Tuscar Totemic. Yeah, it's like you're I mean, running you the chance of just getting something it's, great. It's like a suboptimal. Co- it's like not amazing, but the reason you run it is because it has the synergy. Like look, for Tuscar Totemic, is the totems, and you have a chance to just win the game with the totem golem. That it's so good that it's not. You cannot run this card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. I, the, although the only card that like stands out to me, like the only deck architect that fits into that stands out to me right now is the Nizoth Paladin. Which is, not, which is not that strong right now. But, I don't know. It, it might be good in specifically combo decks, which run only a few minions. It might see use in the uh, Mali, uh, the Mali Ghost Hunter or the Yog Hunter, where you're only running specific cards. They actually took out the um, the cloaked... The, the, in, in favor of the cloaked huntresses, they took out the King's Alec, because the uh, it, it dilutes the consistency of con- always drawing Emperor Thorazan or always drawing Yogg Saron. Oh, so you can just target so you Emperor, can target your Emperor and Maligos. You, yeah, Maligos. Just... You, can, you can put Maligos into the deck and then specifically draw... Even if you had Cloaked Huntress, then this is basically just a format of Cloaked Huntress that's a Yeti. Oh, yeah. That's and pretty you play all the secrets. Then you, just, then you just dump all your secrets. So it's basically like a third Cloaked Huntress in that situation. That, cool. that, that, that thins your deck. That's pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the card is so flexible. This is good, yeah, this card is fucks, like It's good in a multitude of archetypes. Yeah. And it's really, really strong in specific ones. The question is, are we going to grow to hate this card? Yeah, it's also yeah play. because it's uh, it's uh, it's also another massive RNG element. It's like yeah. it's you hate it or you don't hate it. And when you get when you get Tyrion, when your opponent just, gets something amazing and you don't. When you when you get really when you bad. get Tyrion, this is just so stupid. Like how are you supposed to deal with that? How are you supposed to deal with like, the one mana one one taunt with divine shield that summons a, that summons an Ashbringer? You don't. You don't. Yeah, you yeah. don't. Or you get Sylvanas off of this, and you that means that there's Nizal summons two Sylvanas. Yeah. God. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know oh. if I'm looking forward. To oh this man, game. if Tyrion actually comes hey, out, this, yeah, the... I'll, I'll be so tilted. <laughs> Holy! You get the moat lurker. Yeah. Coin it out t- the next turn. Ooh. Oh, the moat lurker. Oh, oh my. We're, we can talk about that later. Yeah, sure. we'll talk about that later. But yeah, yeah, great card and potentially extremely frustrating. Yeah. yeah. So. Next one. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna keep talking about the exciting cards of the set. Mediv the Guardian, eight mana, seven seven, battle cry, equip Atiesh, great staff of the Guardian. So, a lot of people think this card is overrated. What do you think? It's overrated. It, it's overrated. I think this card is pretty average itself. The card itself, when you play what, it... You don't, you don't think it's average? or it, It's... It doesn't... It's 8 mana 7 7. It's I 8 mana 7 card, 7. I think this card is average in power level, in a yeah. vacuum. But the, the thing with this card is... It's actually not as easy to deal with as you think it is. Because you have to have specifically weapon removal... And you have to have an answer true. for the yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's true. So it doesn't it's, affect the board to the turn you play it, yeah. but the fact that you have Atiyash means, like, let's say the next yeah. turn you cast yeah. any large spell, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They can't, for summoning, like, if you're playing Summoning Stone, Summoning mm-hmm. Stone actually saw a little bit of play at uh, Dreamhack Austin when really? Tars brought it, mm-hmm. and huh. it was it was the highlight of the entire tournament because he went, like, he, he was a top, he was he made top 8, and then he made it to the top 16, pl- he made it to the top 16 playoffs. So he was top eight in Swiss, and he made it to the top six. With the summoning stone, with, with, with the summoning stone, Yog drew it, <laughs> and yeah, and, and basically everyone was praising, "Oh, this guy's like the number one deck builder." This is basically summoning stone, except yeah, it's more because yeah. they have to have specifically weapon removal, and they have to have both weapon removal and an answer to your seven seven. But here's the thing: it's two, it's eight mana seven seven. It's a slow card. You it really have card. to not be dying by the time mm-hmm. you play this the, card. But the, the great thing about this card is if you if you survive. 
then you basically win the game if you cast any uh, large spell. Uh, especially any spell that so gives you tempo. would you say it's a win more card? Like, it, you're, it's not going to bring you uh, back. It's, it's, not, no, no, it's, 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 it's a catch-up card. It's not going to bring you back from behind. No, no, it's, no it is going to catch It is catch-up. Because it, what you can do is you can play like a spell. You can play lay what on, what you can kind of spell? Lay on hands. Let's say you play this in a paladin Okay. Deck. Mm -hmm. You play lay on hands. Restores 8 health. Normally, lay on hands is such a tempo loss. You're only, do, you're only you playing lay on hands when you have to dig for an answer. Right. And the health helps you stall for you to look for that. Like, but think, of, but think of this. This just gives you the minion on that turn. Let's say you get rag light lord. And then you, it's a 16 health swing. But think about it this way. You're running this card and lay on hands. Are you cutting Tyrion and Ragnaros? No, you can get, no. also get lay on hands from like yeah. Ivory Knight or something. It, no, it, no, it's, let's, so let's, let's, it's so conditional. No, let's not like, even it's think It's not about... conditional though because it you, is. You can choose to play a low it's, cost spell. The or... main problem I have is it's it's a late game card. It's eight mana seven seven. It doesn't impact the board immediately. It's too slow, and you're cutting out other great late game cards for it. Is this is this worse than other late game cards though? Yes. It's not though because it's sticky. You would it's not sticky in the play sense this. That... You would not play this over Ragnaros. It's a yeah. You or would Tyrion. You, you wouldn't. But not only pal. First of all, only paladin can play Tyrion. And yeah. second of all, this this card has like a surprise element to it too, and it mm -hmm. also gives you it, it it gives you an effect that's unique in the sense that yes. it generates tempo and value. It, it doesn't. It's not, not actually really. a win more card because it it is a win more card, but it also gives you the ability to come back if you play pure tempo spells that cost a lot of. Mana. But your deck has to have those those spells. If you're playing like let's say you're playing Warlock, okay, and you play Twisting Other with this, this is. After you cast a spell, Atiesh is after you cast a spell. So mm -hmm. you play Twisting Nether. So wait, really? It's it removes all the minions. Then it'll then summon. you summon an eight drop. That's ridiculous. That's cool. Yeah. So it's specifically cool. with Twisting Nether has a really good synergy. But specifically with Lay on Hands is a really good synergy. Any high cost spell you should be any specifically eight cost minions are like the swing minions. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, the swing we minions. get the rag light, the yeah, rags, rags. And, and the Tyrion. But like the other mana cost is not that bad because you're still getting a minion and the minion can attack next turn to help contest the board. You're, and if you're playing a spell that gives you tempo back or gives you health back, then you're catching you're, you're catching back up. All of this is assuming that you are not totally dead or screwed. But you can say that about any card though. Like you say, why would you even play Sylvanas? Because, because cards so like, you can just ignore Sylvanas and just go face. It's early enough. This that, card is, that you can you can actually have some impact with it. This is this is eight mana. You see this about the the, the effect not is only that, so okay. strong that it, uh, it might warrant inclusion. Consider this. There's a Fool's Bane here, and it's going to be in most of the uh, Control Warriors. It's because of that card, and say the meta right now, which it might, might actually slow down, people will run, we'll run Harrison, Harrison and Ooze, thus mm -hmm. creating an environment where this card is going to be hit by. Yeah, so it really the depending on well. how frequent uh, weapon removal and weapon hate is going to be common in the meta. Yep. Uh, if it is common, obviously this this card is not that great because then they'll consistently be able to remove. Your at like your ATS. Yeah. The thing with uh, this card is that I don't think it's gonna be in like m like net deck uh, lists. It's not gonna be included. It's gonna, it's be, gonna be a included tech card. Basically, at, like the highest legend ranks, people are gonna like run this like in like there's like a secret tech, and then when they people like run up against it, they're not gonna have to know how to deal with it. Right. And they're not gonna be be able to deal with it because it's such a crazy board swing. And if you let it, if you let either iteration live, it's crazy. Even an 8 mana 7 7 is impactful enough to sort of uh, affect the board. With the with the Atiesh and you're playing a high tempo spell that costs a lot of mana, you're going to be instantly winning the game. I don't know about that. Ronin doesn't ever see play. Well, the difference with Ronin <laughs> is you're getting you're getting arcane missiles yeah. and you have yeah. to cast them. And you, you and it's a death rattle. Yeah, this and, is a battle cry. Rattle. This is a battle cry. And the next turn, if you play, if you have a spell in hand and you cast it, you get both the spell's effect and the minion that you get off of it. And for specifically eight drop spells and eight, the eight drop minions you get out of it are really really crazy. So what decks do you think this goes in? You you mentioned paladin, but what else? Like warlock. Warlock uh, would have to. Have I'd say really I, I'd say most importantly it goes in mage because of yeah, yeah I thought like it was mage strike. too yeah it oh, goes in mana you know mage quite well do a lot of damage yeah. get, get a seven drop I'd say this this might spawn a yog hunter like the, like the, you know the yog like you know the yog that, 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 that's interesting because call of the wild is ridiculous yeah guys. yeah call of the it's wild summons, yeah, that is the imagine wild. summoning rag either rag or Tyrion with call of the wild yeah that's absolutely absurd. That is. What yeah. if you get a novelist though? Yeah, no, then, then you'd be a little bit sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's just a fringe scenario. Yeah. That being said, I like this card. I just don't think it'll be very viable. I think it's interesting. I don't think it's going to be viable, but I wouldn't discount it that quickly. A lot mm. of people just said, oh, this card is too slow. Yeah. I think blah, it's blah, too blah, blah. slow. I think this if, card has potential. It does. For sure. It does. Cause, just because the effect is so strong and it's mm. unique in the, in the sense that the weapon, it, the, the effect is in the weapon, not the minion. So if they destroy the minion, it's still active. 
mm -hmm. have to have specifically weapon removal. They have to have weapon removal in their deck, and they have to draw it by the time you play this, which is, the, I guess, assuming if they're running one copy, there's like a 50 to 60% chance that they'll draw it by the time you play this if you play it on curve. So they have to have both mm -hmm. those, specifically both those answers. And a lot of decks don't run weapon removal. So, mm -hmm. all right. Even against aggro decks, this might be good because when you I, I disagree when you play you're, when, you're, you're gonna... when you when you play okay, this okay that, that that's a big uh, this no, is no like... because against aggro decks what you can do like aggro mid range what you can do aggro. is you can play this this card and then they, they they don't deal with it you play something like forbidden healing and then you get the oh I guess with forbidden healing it doesn't work because forbidden healing technically costs zero mana yeah yeah does so, it summon a zero cost or does it yeah it summon a zero cost it's a zero cost yeah it's a zero with lay on hands specifically lay on hands or you you do it you do it with twisting nether. Then, then you basically just completely gain tempo back, and then the, the RTS will give you back like board initiative. Mm -hmm. So it's still not that bad because you're playing, you're committing all the tempo aspect of it, like the tempo gain and the life gain in the spell, and you're getting the minion back, which could also might also be reg light lord, which will give you even more health. You're you're really making a lot of assumptions in your hope. Yeah, I am making a lot of assumptions, but then most of the time I see that it's just these are not assumptions. I'm just exploring the possibilities. You just like this card. I do like this card. Yeah. I, 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 I don't thought, think I, I actually personally. I, I I like the card too, but I, I don't think it's it. going to be that good. Did, did you know I bought Medi for this card? Does so you have two Medi? Yeah, I need to roleplay roll Medi to play Medi. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Is there like an interaction? I don't know. Like, uh, that, that, that's what be. I'm hoping. There that's what I'm hoping. Be. It has to be. They're missing yeah, there out on opportunity. Yeah, I know. You know, I'm hoping there's interaction. If there's none, I'm disappointed. At the at the least, interesting card. It's the first ever spell weapon. So. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always hoped they, they made something like, like a this. wand or a staff. Or something. I was hoping they make a weapon with spell power that lost uh, durability every time. You I don't think spell. that's even that good though. It yeah. would be good because it, it depends uh, on how much spell power. It it's have. sticky spell power. It depends, it depends on the number. Important. It depends on like the numbers there. Like plus if it's one. just plus one, but with a lot of durability. With how much durability? Like every three time. or four, and like how much mana cost. Three mana, one three. Three mana, that? one. That would be no, pretty bad. I think it'd be garbage. It'd be a setup card. Because instead, instead, like, like instead of needing like to play Blood Mage Donalds or something, you would equip it one turn, and then the next turn you you. I think go a face uh, spells. one mana, one three weapon with one plus one spell power. Right? That's too strong. No, it that's, too, it, that's too strong. That's trust me. That's pretty it's, strong. You know, <laughs> it's that's pretty strong. Weak Are you, you're removal. underestimating spell power. Yeah, but if it's plus yeah. one spell power, it's not that crazy. And you only that's... get three uses out of it. They, then, by your logic, that means the 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 two mana three two with plus one spell power is absolutely ridiculous. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Because it's not sticky. Yeah, it's not yeah, sticky. But the weapons are in general are sticky. But two mana, three, two minion is often s pushes damage. It's a threat. The one we're, mana, one, three weapon. We're is speaking not of different archetypes. And it's weak to weapon. Imagine you run a lot of AoE. If you run a lot of AoE. But plus one spell damage, mm -hmm. if you're running heavy AoE, it's not going to be relevant. It's good. If you run elemental destruction, it's not relevant. Plus one spell power is not relevant. It is. It is. Well, not running, elemental destruction. It is if you're running lightning storm. But if you're, if you're thinking about lightning, lightning storm, storm yeah. or maelstrom, if, 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 if it's all the like low damage spells that but, cost yeah. low like a small amount of mana, then then it's even consecration power. benefits greatly from spell power. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this card. All right, though. so yeah. back to Medivh. It's, it's a yeah. cool card. Yeah. It's cool a cool card. card. I don't think it's viable. It's a cool card. You think it was? It has hope. I, I definitely think it has. I hope it has. I, I, I hope think it people, has. I think hope. people would start to run this card like. It's yeah. good in Yoghunt, right? I okay, you. this is what I, this is what I predict. Yoghunt, people will run this card, trying to make it work, and get smashed. No, my prediction is people will not run this card because they're listening to all the reviewers who are saying that it's overrated. I'm not even listening to other reviewers. And I think it's underrated. All right. So you're a review. I think, I think the I'm people a, who, the say, yeah. I think I the people who yeah. say it's overrated is underrated. I'm, I'm, I'm like on the next step. <laughs> I'm on the next you, step here. You're a step above. <laughs> yeah, basically. All right. <laughs> Garbage card. No, Moros. actually. Three mana, one, one stealth. At the end of your turn, summon a one, one steward. If you're comparing at, this to Imp Master, it's absolutely garbage. At first. No, it, at first. At first, I immediately dismissed it. I thought it was bad. And after analyzing it and people saying it was, <laughs> it's oh, it's like a paladin worse. hero power that you it's get every turn. I still think it's bad. It's even worse than I thought it's it was. It's good was. with Steward of Darkshire. No, it's absolutely terrible. No, no, no. no. You know what it's, it's good not, with? No, I'll tell you what it's good with. Absolutely terrible. I'll tell you what it's good. Young Priestess. <laughs> you love that card. <laughs> Young Absolute pieces. garbage. <laughs> Not only does it get hard countered by Ravaging Ghoul and any sort of AoE and the Maelstrom Portal that's gonna just come out, if you just you just compare this to Imp Master. It's so bad compared to Imp Master. What if you it's gave it Divine online. Shield? If, even if you gave it Divine Shield, you, you have to be running Steward of Darkshire. Steward of Darkshire is an aggressive card. This is not an aggressive card. It you, could be. It's How a, does it sustains it sustains a, one ones? It keeps giving you the, the ammunition. Oh, With yeah, Divine yeah, it Shield. It keeps giving I, you one once every turn. You have to coin the three man, the three. Th if you want to get this early, well, early, yeah, but no, this is more the Darkshire, which is a three three, and have to have it live. 
you. And then you play the three mana. Right. And then you play this, which is a three mana one one that summons a one one, which is so much worse than Im Master. The only the only way I guarantee to actually use it in the early game is just young priestess. Believe yeah. it or believe it or not, it did play around swipe and it did get rolling and I did st steamroll a lot of like druid decks that, because or you even got warriors. Ones. Yeah, yeah, just because they they can't remove it because they kept buffing it. But that's the one of the only ways I can actually play this early. So that's also an interesting fact. It's not a powerful card at all. Yeah, it's not a powerful card. It's like, just... like, I agree, it's not powerful at all, but it's very unique. It's very unique. It's unique. It's one of the yeah, few cards unique. that has stealth and yeah. it has a, like a consistent effect going it's, on. It's a cute card. Yeah, it's cute. It's yeah, cute. like it's cute. a style card. It's a style card. Some people were. Some people I, were I read people with style. <laughs> <laughs> some people were saying, "Oh, this is a yeah. value card because yeah. you get a power and heal power yeah. every turn." I'm like, "Yeah, it is a value card." I bet you. Ravaging goal. Is it good? Though? You instantly lose the game because you're you're losing. But what if you're not playing as warrior? Well, you are because warrior it, is a class, yeah. and warrior is the most no, no, popular wait, wait, class. Play and it represents a what if you check it and you ban warrior? No, nope. then you're winning. I mean, I'm just talking about like ladder, like ladder ranked mode. Is you know, a lot of cards that are really, really bad on ladder are used in tournaments. Like uh, the first thing that comes to mind is Sogoth the Slither. Oh yeah. yeah, that was yeah. a card that was like it doesn't make any sense at all, but it's really good specifically in tournaments to target rogue back when rogue was popular. You can't yeah. deal with you that. Can't deal with you that. just cannot yeah. deal with the five. It hurts. Uh, uh, five hurts. nine that can't be targeted. With it's like I'm punching the I'm punching yeah. daggers, but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it burns. You gotta bad. use your Leroy on it. Yeah, overwhelming. Yeah. So bad yeah. card is my final verdict for this. Just bad, really bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree. It's a bad card, but I. I, you, like it. It, I like it. Yeah, you have the same like feeling. It. Yeah, but it's kind of the opposite with the, the Medivh and Morosa. I like Medivh, but I, I just think it's too damn slow. Yeah. This can be worked with because it's this cheap. Is a three yeah. Battle, what, what? yeah, although I did run it, it's a, it's a card that re like relies on a lot of conditions yeah. to be played. Like you need to, you need something else to play. It's it. also one yeah. up, so it's yeah. like yeah, yeah, it's also one up. You're yeah. really not like banking on this card right. winning games for you. Moving on, we have. Prince Malkazar, and it's a five mana five six. So pit fighter stats, vanilla stats. It's a when demon. When the game starts, yeah, it's a demon. When the game starts, add five extra legendary minions to your deck. So no, I don't. I've never like there. There never has been an ability like this in Hearthstone. No, it has never. It happens at, like the beginning of the game, like guaranteed. So yeah, your guaranteed. deck is already automatically this, um, sets at worse. Thirty-five. Yeah. This deck, I mean, this card is just it's just bad. In arena, it's actually I think it's actually really good in arena because in arena it increases your your card quality because most legendaries are like fat minions and in arena you just want fat minions that have some really dumb effect yeah. that swings the board or just does something really really stupid. You don't want that in, in constructed. In constructed, you want a consistent deck list where you you know the cards that you're gonna draw. If you draw random legendaries, most of the times they're not gonna help with your game plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this card is just bad. It's true. It dilutes. You're not gonna it run. It dilutes a your deck. You're not running definitely. a pit fighter, and the pit fighter. This is a pit fighter with a downside in constructed. The only, the only, the only uh, thing I see this being played in is like some sort of fatigue yeah, deck. Maybe grinder, I can see this grinder. being teched like it's... in a previous uh, argument in tournament decks. Yeah, in tournament decks, yeah. that like that are like fatigue decks, pure fatigue. Yeah, decks. pure mm -hmm. fatigue. Yeah. I other than that, that well. there's no really other application. Mm -hmm. like, it's just a well, it's just a bad card in the vacuum, and it's a huge noob trap. It uh, definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> like, people will run this in like mid range decks and get absolutely punished, or or not absolutely punished because they'll get like a uh, dragon and like red black hand. Could kill your legendary. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what happens whenever I play Elise Mirrors. But in most applications, it's, it's not This a card, card is just bad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, at least we can agree on this one. This card's bad. Next card is the Curator, which is Ooh. last of the zoo type uh, cards. Uh, with the, uh, the zoo Menagerie, bot type. Zoo bot. Menagerie, yeah. Menagerie Magician, zoo bot, and Curator. Seven mana, four, six, uh, taunt. Yeah, the taunt is actually pretty relevant. Battle mm -hmm. cry, draw a beast, dragon, and Merlock on your deck. And it's a mech. Which not is not very important, but still, it's 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 it's, it's there. So straight up, its stats are garbage, but uh, <laughs> it draws you three cards. So that's it's ridiculous. That's comparable to the old Ancient of Lore. The Ancient of Lore was one of the best cards that was like ever. Yeah, made. yeah, yeah. And if you so you can't really say this stat that the stats are garbage for what the effect does. And this, in addition, this thing has taunt. Yeah. Plus, it draws you a third card. A third that card. being said, you're really catering towards. You're you're really building around this card. I think this card is decks. very good in Rena Luck. Because you can run uh, that six mana two three. You can run the Murloc, the Murloc. Uh, yeah, but AOE. it's currently not even played. So you can, you can run it just because of this. You yeah. can run uh, the, you can run your Twilight Drake. You, have, you already have your dragons, and you can run your Murloc, which is like the. Um, I don't know, wait. What Murloc would you, would you even use with this? Yeah. I guess you don't even need it. You don't even need yeah, it. Yeah, I guess oh, the only Murloc oh, yeah, is a board the Murloc, clear. Murloc. The Murloc was a board clear. Murloc. Yeah, yeah, board yeah. clear. I already yeah. covered the Murloc actually, yeah. and yeah. then the, the the beast is Kodo. Yeah, so Kodo. this card is amazing. This card is Ancient of Lord with Taunt that has better, has an arguably better stat line, and it draws you an extra card. 
and it draws you cards that you know you're gonna draw. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What I thought about this card is you can use it as a certain combo decks to get the combo pieces that you want. Right, but the thing is, what if the Murlocs and Dragon and Beasts are, are combo No, no, pieces. like Malagos, like Malagos, oh, yeah, 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 stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah there's possibties of doing that. But... In that case, like if all you're drawing yeah. is Malagos, and this the stats for yeah. this is kind of garbage. No, no, yeah. it's not though. Because you'd rather run something with better like taunt it, and heal yeah. to stay yeah, until you finally draw Malagos. The difference between this though is because like you know you know Ancient Harbinger, right? The six mana four six that draws a ten drop. This is you get if you're only running one dragon. It doesn't have to survive. This this thing, yeah, it doesn't have to survive. Yeah, that's, have that, to that's survive. so paying one extra mana for taunt yeah, and that effect, it. and to draw additional beasts and uh, murlocs to help you survive is, is a pretty big deal. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. It's a guarantee. Target, yeah, like it's a guarantee it. that yeah. that effect, the verse, the the consistency aspect, and paying one extra mana for that is mm -hmm. really, really important. So you only see this card in uh, Reno decks that would be Reno janky de enough yeah. to include all these. Definitely not in those aggressive decks that we're talking about. No, earlier, no not at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's too heavy. But can you build a deck that's not a Reno deck that has these archetypes? Well, you don't need to because there's already the Reno deck. Like I said, I don't think I don't think you. The, the, the issue with Reno is it's inconsistent in its draws. That's the biggest. The, this this problem. this card is so the, the difference with Reno decks is the, the cards by themselves are have enough power and are strong enough individually that they just carry the game, and then you have Reno to heal up. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So this card, I think this card is really good. You think it's really good? I think, I think it's okay. I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. It's pretty good. Like it's yeah. not um, insane, but it's it's pretty good. Main defender mm -hmm. being it's seven mana, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, then well, again, you know. people say Ancient of Lore. It's seven mana. You you can't draw two cards. You on play. Seven mana. You play. Yes, you can. And Ancient it's crazy. of Lore goes in a deck where you have strong mid game, so it's generally supported yeah, by like the, this, you know Druid of the Claw and all that stuff. Yeah, it's supported by whatever you're playing. It's supported by Kodo, supported by the Twilight Drake. It thins your deck too. You generally. I guess you're hoping you have board when you play this. This will be played in a Reno deck that's not Warlock because Warlock doesn't need any more card draw. Mm -hmm. So it would probably be like Reno Mage or Paladin. Yeah, Reno, or Reno Mage, Paladin. This Reno would be Paladin. yeah. See, this is an another card along with the the, the the Mage class cards released that might make Reno Mage viable. Whew. All right, I like it. And next one, so we're done with the legendaries. We have the Avian Watcher, which is a, a five mana three six and battle cry. If you control a secret, gain plus one plus one and taunt. I like it. I like it. Reno Mage. Reno Mage. Right away. This Reno is the Mage. Reno Mage expansion. Yeah, There's yeah, so many Reno mages that, yeah. that benefit Reno Mage. Yeah. Yep. But uh, you have to have a secret in play while you play. Yeah, like that's, the, yeah, block. that's why it works so well with Reno yeah. Mage. Yeah. It works well with five the, mana, the, four, the, seven times. With yeah. Medivh's, Val Medivh's Valet and this, you just play Ice Block and it just permanently yeah. synergizes with those yeah. cards. Yeah. I don't know. I, it it's will beautiful. only be specifically, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, what, yeah this card It's a fugue with taunt. It's crazy. Yeah, it looks good too. Yeah. It's an owl. It looks alright. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Yeah. <laughs> Rip hoot hoot. Um, yeah, I just don't think... Eh, do you think it's creative enough? It's not It's, it's, not, it's not. that interesting, it's, but it's, yeah, it's, not, it's, not interesting. it's good in that specific yeah. archetype. Yeah, but Reno Mage really needed a really good time. Yeah. yeah it's sort of like Twilight Guardian for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. For but Dragon Next. But you can't is, run the Twilight this Guardian. This is the Avian Watcher. I mean, this is the Twilight Guardian for uh, Dragon Next. But it's even better. But it's except it's for Reno Dex, and yeah. it's permanently active. You don't even need a Dragon. You just need to play Ice Block, which is... I guess it's a more difficult condition yeah, to satisfy. You have to get Ice Block. You have to get that Ice Block and play it. But once you play it... Yeah. Once you play it... The Medivh Valet, like Medivh Valet in this card become crazy. Yeah. If they release even more synergy cards like related to it, they might run even more secrets just to increase the consistency of activating these cards. Mm -hmm. So, I like it. Yeah. Alright. I don't like the card, but it's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's not amazing. It's okay. in the right yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. And the next one is, this card is, in my opinion, really, really strong. Six mana, three, six, bookworm, battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, destroy an enemy minion with three or less attack. And it's a, also a dragon. This is this, this card is crazy. It is crazy. I don't think it's crazy. In any dragon, it, it's like it's like the yeah. nether spite historian, except it's like six mana. Yeah. The thing is, it's it, it costs six mana, so it's a little expensive. Like but killing it gives three you three attack. Yeah, three and attack. it's targeted. That's, it's that's not a special. Kodo. Yeah, that's special. It's not a Kodo. Yeah, is Kodo special. is random. This thing hits any like the exact yeah. minion that you want. And it's a dragon in itself, so I think this re re replaces, uh, even in Dragon Warrior, the effect is so strong that even though this is not an aggressive card, it's a control type card, yeah. I would replace one of the Dragon and Crushers with this. Just because it gives really? you every single, yeah, because Dragon and Crusher is more of like a, it's like a filler minion that's also a dragon yeah, and it's yeah. aggressive, mm -hmm. but often what happens is Dragon and Crusher isn't active. So so with this card, this with you're you're probably gonna have a dragon in your hand, and mm. it's a dragon in itself. But you're, now you're considering your opponent has a, has a minion with three or less attack. There are... The majority of decks in the metagame. Yeah, they do need it. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's that is three or less attack. Yeah. So let's compare it to Kodo. Kodo does its job and it's very strong. Kodo this is, this is, is like Kodo. Kodo, except it's targeted and, and it has a dragon tag. And it also has plus one like attack plus one, to its uh yeah. to its, yeah. its condition. Toughness, toughness. So I think condition. this this is yeah. better than Kodo in dragon decks. By far. 
because it's targeted. And, okay. it, and, and, and it activates your dragon's energy. It's like how people don't think, why would Deathwing be played in an aggressive deck like Dragon Warrior? It turned out that Dra- Deathwing is amazing in Dragon Warrior. Because you're dumping your hand yeah, but you're, eventually. Yeah. You're really just like... And even though it's a super late game card, it's still good. This is like mm-hmm. the effect is, and he said definitely the effect is so strong. This effect is also so strong, and it's a dragon activator. And you don't have to wait. This is, it's actually less situational than Deathwing, because Deathwing requires you to like dump all your cards. The majority of decks have three or less attack minions, and you just use this on turn six and kill one right. of those. Right, here, here, here's, where, it's a huge here's where it falls flat. Say you're playing like a dragon warrior mirror, and your opponent has like a, like a black wing corruptor and a dragon crusher, and you have this in your hand. There's like, you could have potentially no If they have stuff. those on their board, you're going to lose anyways. No, mm-hmm. you could have played a, like a dragon and crush it at least contest the board. But mm-hmm. this thing, it's like it's a three six for six mana. This thing demolishes anything. water. So it, it needs demol- it needs oh, to have yeah. a board like state for it to do its thing. It's, that's you can see that about literally any. I card. know, but this, this effect this is, is so a, powerful. It's a situational and card with a powerful effect. That's like every single card in the game. It's like red black hand. No, no, it's not like red black hand. I have this skyline. I know, I know. Yeah, and Red Black Hand's also not a dragon. It might actually yeah. be played if it, had, it was if it was a dragon. Yeah, it might be played if better the legendary is being played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this card is good. I don't think it's bonkers. I think it's not bonkers. I, I think it's, it's really bonkers. good though. I, I think, think it's, it's really I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's really good. Because the, the effect is just so strong, and there's there's like pretty much there's virtually no deck that doesn't have a three attack minion. What's cool about it though is like if you consider it as a shadow and word, it's targeted. If it's a shadow word pain, then you're like you're paying four mana for a three six and two mana for shadow word pain. Then it's pretty but cool. It's, it's pretty cool. It, it's a dragon, and Shadow or Pin is a priest card. Look, I know. Yeah. So that's what's great about this card. <laughs> yeah. Dragon. Would you throw some dragon priest? But you know, you, you don't know, because you think this card is okay and not I really good. I, I at at oh, the oh, very oh. least, it's oh, good. Oh, oh. It's, it's good. You, you're saying this with absolute confidence. Yeah. I, I know for... Right now, I would just switch out one of my dragon crushers for this. What if you're wrong? No, it's good. It's just... You, you, by playing... If you play in the metagame, and you know that there's a lot of three attack minions, and in so many situations where you don't want to play a six mana six, six you want to play this. This I, is so much better I, than 6 I, I, I would play Crushers over this. Okay, then you're not... You, you, you need a lesson in Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Moving on! I see, right. I see you teach me something. Alright, Moat Lurker. 6 oh. mana, 3-3. Three, three. Battle Cry, destroy a minion, death battle, resummon it. This is... This, this I love beautiful. this card. This I like this card. Beautiful. It's really it's this card's so, beautiful. It's so creative. Ooh. Did you know it has synergy with an Azov too? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Because it's death battle. Did you know you can temporarily <laughs> remove your opponent's yeah, I, minions? I know. And Did you know they purify? Purify! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with this. How crazy would this card be if it resummoned the minion on your side? Your opponent's Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought initially. That'd, that'd be, that'd that'd be, that'd be that's insane. insane. This would just be two copies in any deck they, that's like yeah, a They spell. wouldn't design this card to do that. That'd yeah. be insane. Yeah, that'd be, that'd that'd be like, OP. Yeah. That'd, yeah, that'd be so, cool. the main thing that comes to mind is using this on your own Sylvanas to get insane value out of Sylvanas. And you just get a new Sylvanas. Yeah. And you get two. You get basically the first Sylvanas effect. You activate it yourself. You get an additional Sylvanas, and you get a 3 3. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and it makes your minions stick. You can also not target your own minions, just hit your opponent's minions that are being a threat right now. And you play Purify. Well, you don't have to. Just kind of like just buy yourself a little bit of time. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like a freeze. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's got a lot of utility. But then the thing is, this freeze is like it's more difficult for your opponent to get out of it because they have to kill it, and then there's like a mm-hmm. yeah, they have to kill it, and then they can attack next turn with it. Here's an interesting thought: so. What if you're a priest and you use Shadow Madness on your opponent's Moat Lurker, and then you kind of have it killed? And it well, what them. happens? Wow. Where does the minion go? What the heck? Uh, I... no, 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 because the text resummon it means it resummons wherever it came it from. It doesn't say that though. No, it is. It's, you're just it's assuming it. it. No, no, no. I no, it's not. It's confirmed that yeah, the summon is on the yeah. side that it was yeah, 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 from. Yeah, yeah. So why would it matter which side it's on? It oh, okay, so, so even if you shadow magic, you just use basic... go back to wherever it's supposed to. Reading yeah, comprehension yeah, yeah, and is... logic skills. It doesn't say it. It might have been programmed. No, well, we know to... from 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 developer t- tweets that you know this. No, well, we, we. I guess I know this too. Yeah, yeah, we we know this, but then you, for some reason, you somehow derive the fact that oh, what, which side does it go on if you shadow if you shadow uh, if you shadow man on it. What if they programmed it in an interesting way where it doesn't co- like uh, confirm to that? Where it's not about well, what, that, that's just a tech. That's it's just like a relative to you know wherever it was. Well, originally. that's an inconsistency then. Yeah. Because because it cl- they, right. they clearly said that we already know that it resummons on the side that it was played. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's so that's that's we know that yeah, that's I can what confirm that. we yeah. that's what we we know that resummon it that we know what that text means. Hey, so that means if if we shadow man is it why does that change the text? If it does it, change it does. the text, all right, that's okay. the inconsistency on Blizzard. Then. Yeah, but so I I think hmm. this is a good card. Good in control decks. Yeah, very Pretty good. Nuts. Very good. Very good. It's not nuts. I, it, 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 it doesn't do anything. Nazoth summons it too. <laughs> it doesn't do anything absolutely unfair. 
That's the thing. Yeah, the stats are, like, terrible. It, but for its effect, it's pretty decent. The thing with Nazoth is, like, yeah. when it summons this, does it summon, like, when it death rattle, does it resummon the minion that it killed originally? No, no, yes. it's just a 3-3. Three, three. It's just a 3-3. Three, three. No, no, because... Three, three. No, no, no. Is it? Oh, it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Here's the thing. It destroys the minion, so that counts for the Nazoth uh, tick. So if, it, if you destroy Savant with this, and then this thing just gets destroyed, and then the Savant is back and that dies, Nazoth will summon both Savantes and this thing. No, I think it's just it'll a vanilla 3 No, it summoned this thing, but will the new thing summon another Savant? Oh, the new Moat Lurker? No, I don't think so. No, 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 yeah, no that would be a buff. Yeah, it's just yeah. a vanilla 3-3. Yeah. yeah. It'd yeah. just be a 3-3. Yeah, but that's still better than nothing. You can put yeah. in oh, although, no, 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 you could argue that you don't want a 6-mana 3-3 because it'll dilute your Nazoth pool. And then if yeah. you're running more than 6 yeah. Threadle Minions, then it'll make your pool worse. Yeah, worse. Yes. Yeah. But I guess you're fine summoning a full board. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, true. Yeah. Still a good card. And the next card is the... Oh, are we done? I think we're at And the... we're done, yeah. And we're done. Oh, wow. All right. All right. How exciting. Yeah, how yeah. exciting. Oh, these cards are really, really fun. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, you know, just by excited. glancing over the expansion earlier, I yeah. didn't think. Like, I thought a lot of the. I just like looked over them and I didn't think they were. Well, that good. from the very beginning, like the first few cards they released, they were very uninteresting. Yeah, and then having so that sort of like set the tone for the rest of the expansion. Yeah, I think they should have released some of the cards that they released at the end of the beginning just to get people hyped. But after like like thoroughly analyzing these cards and like discussing them, I'm really excited for the rest of this expansion. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So we realize that this card warlock is the new cancer, and we don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like consistent though. That's the thing. And like sometimes it just falls flat on the floor oh, when it just cards the wrong cards. Perhaps, yeah. yeah. So what are your predictions for this expansion? Like, what do you, what, what decks other than discard warlock? What do you think will pop up? I think beast is going to be one. I yeah. think dragon decks are going to be one. I actually yeah. don't think beast will be that strong, but I that... people will try it out. I'm gonna fall in love with Reno Mage. Niz yeah, Reno, Reno Mage. Reno Mage is gonna be big. Nizoth Pally might make a comeback yeah. solely because of Barnes. Because yeah. Barnes is like a four Barnes. drop Tyrion. Four drop Rag. Barnes is gonna be everywhere. Barnes, four drop yeah. Cairn. Four we'll drop Sylvanas. We'll show up in a lot of decks. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be Doctor Four. Power. Doctor Four. Doctor Four. Yeah. And yeah. Any last words? Okay, well, uh, any shout outs? Any shout outs? Yeah. Well, I guess well, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash John Adrian Lee. And uh, I don't have a Twitter because I don't use Twitter. You can follow me on my Twitter. It's uh, it's Craximus. At Craximus. <laughs> at Craximus at Twitter.com. <laughs> yeah, and this will be the end of um, One Night in Cares on Card Review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't like it, put a dislike and explain to us why you don't like it. And we improve it in the future as well. So Yeah, flame we, us so that we can get angry and uh, yeah, and, then, and then improve he, he, upon he, he, that. Yeah, yeah, he write down in the comments and flame you. So... <laughs> Yeah, flame yeah. specifically this guy. Yeah, because he guy. makes bad predictions. Yeah. Don't do that. No, what? Yeah, he's also an angry kid. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's older than me. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Oh man. Oh, what's up? Yeah, and right. we will. We will see you guys next time.